How are you doing? Uh, I'm Keith. I'm going to be bringing you through a video for low back health. Um, so the benefits of this exercise routine, uh, we're going to help uh, activate your deep core musculature. So a lot of that comes from the diaphragmatic breathing. Uh, we're going to do some stretching for your lower back and for your hips, as well as target your hip and spine mobility. Um, while we're doing these exercises, you should feel some discomforts. Uh, just slight discomfort because the muscles are going to be stretching, but you shouldn't feel a sharp pain with anything. So if you do feel a sharp pain while we're doing these exercises, stop that repetition. Uh, go back to that starting exercise posture, uh, and then go ahead and try to continue again. Uh, if you do continue to feel that sharp pain, just go ahead and stop that exercise completely, um, and then just wait and move forward with the next exercise. Um, so while we do some of these exercises and stretching, uh, I'm going to be doing it on this mat here. Um, you can be doing it on the floor. Um, if you're able to and your couch is big enough, lay down on the couch or on a bed. Uh, uh, something that's a little bit more of a, a, form, a firm platform is going to be a little bit more beneficial. Uh, we're going to be in a few different positions. Uh, so we're going to be supine to start. Um, so that's going to be laying down on your back. Um, and from there, we're going to go into a quadruped position. So you'll be on your hands and your knees. Uh, and then the last position we'll be in is a prone position. So that's going to be uh, face down um, with your belly on the mat or on the surface. Um, so I hope you enjoy following along. And we're going to get into our first position, which is going to be supine. Um, so you're going to be on your back with your feet flat on the ground and your knees bent. Okay, so here we are in the supine position for our first exercise. What we're going to start with is diaphragmatic breathing, or breathing through our belly. So a lot of times when we get stressed, we start doing heavy breathing through our lungs. For this portion, we're just going to start activating these musculature along our diaphragm, do some breathing through our belly. So we really want to see our belly rise when we inhale, and then we want to see our belly go down when we exhale. So what you can do is you can place your hands on top of your belly and watch your hands move as you breathe in and breathe out. So we're gonna do 10 together. You ready? Let's go. Breathe in, out. One, in, let the belly rise. Out. Two, breathe in, belly rise. Out. Three, breathe in, and out, four, breathe in, remember our inhales and our exhales, the exhale should be longer, out, breathe in, and out, long exhale, five, halfway there, breathe in, out, long exhale, six, breathe in, let the belly rise, out, seven, let's be loud with the breathing, let's hear you, in, out, eight, here we go, last two, breathe in, let the belly rise, out, nine, here we go, last one, breathe in, nice and big belly, and a long exhale, ten, good. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is some pelvic tilting, so this is going to help work on your hip mobility, what we're going to try to do is tilt your hips forwards and tilt your hips backwards, so when we tilt our hip forward, we want to try to pick our lower back up off of the surface, and then when we tilt backwards, we want to try to push our lower back down as hard as you can onto the surface. So what you'll see is the hips moving forwards and backwards. If you want additional cues, you can try to put your hand underneath your lower back, and what you're going to try to do when we tilt back, try to press down onto your hand as hard as you can with your lower back, and then when you tilt forward, try to create as much space from your lower back and your hand as possible. So we're going to do 10 repetitions of each. We're going to go forward first and then backward towards the mat. Ready? 
and go. So here we go forwards, pick the lower back up, and back. Push the low back down. One. Forwards, let those hips tilt forward, pick the low back up, and down. Push your low back down into the hand. Two. Forwards, let those hips tilt, pick the low back up, and down. Press the low back into the mat. Three. Here we go again. Tilt forwards, arch the low back, back down, press the low back into the mat. Four. Forwards, pick those hips up, and down, press the low back down into the mat. Five. Halfway. Tilt forwards, good, and press down, six, good, forwards, I got my hands on my hips just so I can feel my hips moving, you can do the same, down, press the low man, seven, here we go, a few more, tilt them forwards, pick the low back up, down, press that low back down into the mat, eight, minus two, tilt forwards, and down. Nine. Here we go. Last one. Tilt forwards. Low back rises. And down. Press that low back into the mat. Ten. Good. Next one we're going to do is we're going to do knees to your chest and deep breaths. So that's just going to help relieve some pressure on your lower back. So starting here, we're going to bring both knees up towards your chest. You can either interlace your fingers and squeeze the knees towards your chest, or you can just put one hand on each of your knees and bring them towards your chest. So we're going to hold this position and we're going to do five breaths. Every time you exhale, try to pull the knees a little bit closer to the chest. Remember the diaphragmatic breathing. On the inhale, the belly's going to go towards your thighs. Exhale, your belly's going to go away from your thighs. Okay, here we go. Five breaths. And inhale. Exhale, try to bring those knees a little closer. Inhale, belly towards the chest. Exhale, knees closer. Inhale, exhale, bring those knees in. Two more, inhale, exhale, squeeze those knees up. Last one, here we go, inhale, and exhale. Here we go and release. Feet back down. Good. All right, next exercise is going to be knees coming back up towards your chest, but this time we're going to be reaching between our legs and grabbing for our ankles or our feet. What that's going to do is going to help open up your hips a little bit. Um, so it's going to help you with some more hip stretching as well as a little bit more mobility uh, as we're doing, again, this low back release stretch. So, you're going to bring your knees up towards your chest. Like I said, you're going to reach between your knees. You can either grab onto your ankles, or if you're able to, reach for the bottom of your feet here, and try to pull your knees towards the outside of your chest. We're going to go five breaths again. You ready? And go. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Pull them a little bit higher. Inhale. Belly rises, exhale, good, try to pull those knees higher, inhale, exhale, here we go, a couple more, inhale, exhale, loud breathing, let's hear it, last one, inhale, and exhale, Good, and feet back down, and relax. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is a modified hip stretch. Um, so for this position, we're gonna bring one knee to our chest, and then we're gonna try keeping the other leg away from you as far as possible. So we're gonna start first with grabbing onto our right leg. So we're gonna bring the right knee up towards your chest, and we're gonna try to keep it here and then we're gonna to try to kick our left leg far away from you. Now when you bring your left leg out, 
Remember to try to keep your low back pressed into the mat. What that's going to do is help protect your spine. Um, so for this one, you can start with a little range of motion and then work to a larger range of motion depending on your comfortability. All right, we're going to go five repetitions on each side. You ready? All right, here we go. Press the low back down into the mat. Now extend that left leg, big reach out with the heel. Slide it back up and relax. And again, press the low back down into the mat. Keep it there. Slide that heel out, kick it as far away from you as possible. Bring it back, relax. Two, and again, press the low back down. Slide the heel out, big reach with the left leg. Bring it back, relax. Three, couple more. Press the low back down, slide the heel out. Uh, bring it back, four. Here we go, last one. And press the low back down. Slide that heel out, reach as far as you can with the heel. Bring it back, five. Good, we'll go ahead and release the leg. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side. Grabbing onto the left leg, pulling it towards your chest. Press the low back into the mat, keep it pressed down. Slide that other leg out, big reach. Good. Bring it up, relax, one. Here we go, knee towards the chest, press the low back down, slide the heel out, uh, bring it up, two, relax. Here we go, knee to the chest, press the low back down, slide the heel out, big reach, bring it up, three, relax. Here we go, a couple more. Knee to the chest, press the low back down, heel out, big reach, slide it up, four, there you go, last one, press that low back down, keep it squeezed down against the mat, reach out with the heel, and bring it up, relax, release the leg, good. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is a bridge, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with bridges. Um, so the, the goal of this exercise is to work your hamstrings and your glutes. Um, you don't want to be doing a lot of back extension with this exercise. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you really quick first, and then I'll have you follow along with the repetitions. So with the bridges, your feet should be about hip width apart, uh, and then your feet should be about 12 inches away or so from your hips. If you want to make it more difficult, try to bring your feet closer to your hips. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bring your feet a little bit further away. Okay, so we're going to start about 12 inches away from the hips. And then what I want you to do is initially first press the low back into the mat and then push through your feet, shooting the hips up towards the ceiling. Right here, you should be squeezing with your hips and not arching with your low back. That's what's going to cause pain. And then we're going to come back down. All right, so now we're going to go through 10 repetitions together. Are we ready? Let's go. Press the low back down. Push through the feet, hips up as high as you can, pause, and back down. Release, one. Press the low back in, push through the feet, hips up, pause, and come back down. Two, here we go. Press that low back down, push through the feet, hips as high as you can, pause, back down, release, three. Here you go, press the low back down, pushing through the feet, squeeze the hips. Good, back down, release, four. There you go, press the low back down, push through the feet, hips as high as you can, pause, good, back down, release, five. Here we go, halfway, push the low back down, push through the feet, hips up as high as you can, Pause, here we go, back down, release, six, push the low back down, press through the feet, pause, uh, back down, release, seven, here we go, a few more, press that low back down, push through the feet, squeezing the hips, keep that abdomen tight, uh, back down, 
release, eight, press the whole back down, push through the feet, hips as high as you can, good, back down, release, nine, last one, here we go, press that low back down, keep the abdomen squeezed, push through the feet, hips as high as you can go, pause, back down, and release, good. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is a pendulum. Um, so for this exercise, we're going to be starting in the same position, but you're going to try to keep your feet close together. Uh, also for this exercise, if you've got a pillow uh, or a towel, you can roll up the towel and place it between your knees uh, while we do this exercise. What that's going to do is keep your legs in position uh, when we rotate, so we don't want your legs moving too much. That's going to create torque on your lower back and your lumbar spine. Um, so the, the more we can keep these legs in a fixed position, the better it will be for the exercise. So with the pendulums, you want to make sure that your shoulders stay down the entire time. And then we're just rotating left and right through our hips. So we're going to go as far as you can to the right, then we're going to bring them back over, and then as far as you can to the left. We're going to go 10 times to each side. You ready? All right, let's go to the right. Come down, keep your opposite shoulder down. Good, back up, left, keeping the shoulders down on the mat. Here we go, back up, there's one. To the right, good, back up, over to the left. Two, good, shoulders stay on the mat. Back up, to the left. Three, there you go, let's keep going. Big range of motion as far as you can to the right. Go to the left, four, go over to the right, to the left, halfway there, five. If you need to reposition, go ahead and reposition the feet and the shoulders. Here we go, back over to the right, go up as far as you can, to the left, six, here we go, keep those shoulders down. Right, back up, to the left, here we go, seven, a few more to go, as far as you can, right, back up, left, eight, here we go, back to the right, you may feel it on one side more than the other, and then that's going to be an indication knowing that you just have one side, one side tighter than the other side, nine, here we go, last one. So maybe just pay a little bit more attention to that. And when we do stretching, make sure you stretch that tight side out just a little bit more. And 10, good. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is a supine twist. Um, so with the pendulums like we just did, that works a little bit of the lumbar spine mobility. This exercise is gonna work a little bit higher on the spine and work your thoracic spine mobility. So we're gonna start uh, with your knees bent, feet the same position. Hands are going to be out to the side with your palms facing up. Um, now you can either start the exercise this way um, or we can do them with the legs straight. If you do them with the legs bent, uh, what I want you to do is try to keep the knees from moving as much as possible because we want, again, the lower part of the spine to stay still and the upper part of the spine to move. So with the twist, the legs stay still. We're going to rotate as best as you can reach for your hands and open back up. Or like I said, if you want to do it a little bit more difficult, you can put the legs straight and this is going to prevent the hips from moving a lot. So the same thing is going to happen. We're going to rotate as much as you can. It's going to be a little bit more strenuous. Reach for the hands and then come back down. So we're going to go 10 to each side. I'm going to demonstrate five repetitions with the legs straight and then I'll finish up the last five repetitions with the knees bent. So we're going to start rotating to the left, so we're going to reach your right hand over to the left and then we're going to switch sides. Are you ready? And go. Twist, reach for your hand, good. Open back up and now left hand over to the right, twist, reach for the hand, open up. There's one. Twist to the left, reach, open up, uh, to the other side, twist, reach, two. 
There you go. Big rotation. You're going to feel the abdomen engage to get that twisting going. Abdomen and obliques. Here we go. Over to the left. Reach for the hands. There we go. Three. Twist. Try to keep that left arm still when you're reaching for it. Back down. Twist. Over to the right. Open up. Four. Twist. Reach for the hand. Open up. Here we go. Over to the right. Twist. Keep the right arm down. Open up. Halfway. Now I'm going to finish up with my knees bent. Twist. Over to the right. Uh, back down. And twist. Reach. Up. Open up. Six. Twist. To the right. Good. Open up. Twist. Seven. Here we go. Big rotation. If your knees are bent, try to keep the legs still. Open up. Twist. Reach for the hand. Eight. Here we go. Last two. Twist. Reach for the hand. Open up. One. Twist. Other side. Open. Nine. Last one each side. Here we go. Twist. Big reach. Open up. Last one. Twist. Reach, open, good, good. And then for this next exercise, we're gonna be moving into the quadruped position. Okay, for this next exercise, it's the cat camel. Uh, so it's gonna be similar to the pelvic tilting exercise we were doing when we were supine, but this one's gonna be done in the quadruped position. So we're gonna be on our hands and our knees. So we're gonna come forward, place our hands down on the mat. And when you're in the quadruped position, try to keep your knees in line with your hip, and then your hands in line with your shoulder. You don't want your hands too far in front or too far behind you. You want to keep them directly underneath the joint. So with this exercise, we're trying to tilt from the pelvis again, and then we're also going to be arching and flexing our back. So when we bring our hips towards us, we're going to round the back as much as we can, and then we're going to push the hips away and then we're gonna arch the low back as much as you can. All right, so we're gonna go 10 of each for a total of 20 repetitions. Are you ready? We're gonna start tucking the pelvis in. And go, bring the pelvis in, round the back, cut and out, push the pelvis away, arch. Back in, round the low back, and arch, push the pelvis away, two. Here we go, round it in, good, and out, three, good, remember your positioning, try to keep the shoulders above the hands, out, four, good, tuck it in, round the low back, arch, five, here we go, halfway, tuck the pelvis in, round, out, Six. Here we go. Tuck the pelvis in. Arch. Seven. Good. Try to maintain that good quadruped position. Out. Eight. Try to keep the shoulders down. Tuck the pelvis in. Arch. Push it out. Nine. Last one. Tuck those hips in. Round. And push it out. Ten. Good. All right. So for our next exercise, we're going to do bird dog. So bird dog, we're going to be moving opposite arm and opposite leg. Uh, if that's too difficult to pick up both limbs at the same time, just try to do one limb at, at a time. So to demonstrate, we're going to pick up opposite arm and opposite leg. I want you to try to reach out as if someone was pulling your hand away from you and then someone was pulling that leg away from you. So you're gonna have long limbs, and then you're gonna return back to the start position. So when you're doing this, try not to tilt the hips or the spine when you reach out. You wanna to try to keep your spine as still as possible and only have your arm and your leg move. The rest of your torso tries to stay as still as you can. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 repetitions each side. Again, if it's too difficult to go opposite arm, opposite leg, just do one limb at a time. All right, you ready? And go. Reach out as far as you can. 
Good. And down. Same arm, same leg. Ten times. Reach out. Good. And down. Two. Out. Big reach. Down. Three. Out. Reach. Four. Good. Try to keep the spine as still as you can when you're reaching. Five. Reach. Six. Good. Try to keep your head still as well. Big reach. Seven. Straight out as far as you can. Eight. Reach as far as you can. Nine. Last one. Here we go. Big reach. Arm and leg. Ten. Here we go. Let's reposition ourselves. Make sure we're in that good quadruped position. We're going to go 10 repetitions on the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. You ready? And go. Big reach. Keep the spine still. And down. One. Reach. Stretch out as far as you can with the hand and the foot. Down. Two. Reach out. Try to keep the spine still. Down. Three. Big reach as far as you can. Keep that torso still. Down. Four. Big reach. Extend like someone's pulling the hand and foot away from you. Down. Five. Here we go. Halfway. Five more to go. Big reach. Down. Six. Reestablish that quadruped position. Reach. Good. Down. Seven. Here we go. A few more. Keep the spine as still as you can. Big reach. Down. Eight. Last two. Reach. Big extension. Down. Nine. Last one. And reach out as far as you can. Back down. Ten. Okay, for this next exercise, we're going to be pushing ourselves back into the child's pose. This is, again, going to help with some hip mobility and then a little bit of low back stretch. It's going to help take some pressure off of your vertebrae. So I'm just going to demonstrate again, and I'll have you follow along with five repetitions. So from the quadruped position, you're going to push with your hands. Try to relax the low back. Let your hips fold underneath you so your hips are back towards your heels. And then we're going to come back, pulling with the hands, come back forward into that quadruped position. So we're going to go five repetitions. When we push back, we're going to do our big exhale. And then when we pull forward, we're going to inhale. All right, you ready? And go. Exhale. Inhale. One. Exhale. Inhale. Two. Should have long exhales. Inhale. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Last one. Loud breathing. Exhale. Inhale, and five, good. Okay, so for our next exercise, it's gonna be another modification of the child's pose. So we're gonna do have the same finishing position, but we're gonna do some lateral walks with it. So when we do the lateral walk, we're gonna walk with our hands, but I want you to try to keep your hips as still as you can. So what a lot of people will tend to do when you walk with the hands, the hips start moving with it. We don't want to do that. We want to keep your hips as still as you can because you want to work on your uh, spine's ability to laterally bend. So you want to keep your hips as still as possible. So you're going to walk out to the side as much as you can. And then from here, we're going to sit back with our hips and you should be feeling a little bit more of a stretch along the side in your lats and then along the lateral aspect of your spine. And then we'll come back up and then we're going to walk to the other side. So we're going to go three repetitions to each side. Are you ready? And go. We're going to walk out to the side. Go. 
Good. Once you're as far as you can, sit back with the hips. Hips should go straight back between the feet. Good. Come back up. Here we go. We're going to walk to the other side now. Laterally bending the spine, keeping the hips still. Then push back. Hips towards the feet. Good. Back up. Walk with the hands. Other side. Good. Keeping the hips as still as you can. Sit back. Feel that stretch along the lateral part of your spine. Good. Back up. Here we go. Walking to the other side. As far as you can. Good. And sit back with the hips. Good. There's two. One more to each side. Come back up. Walk with your hands over to the side, keeping the hips still. Sit back. Good. Back up. One more time, other side. Walking with the hands, legs and hips as still as you can. And sit back. And back up. Back to the middle. Good. And for the next couple of exercises, we're going to be going into the prone position. Okay, for the last couple of exercises here, we're going to be in the prone position. So we're going to be laying down on our belly with our arms underneath us. Um, we can do um, these press-ups uh, in a couple of ways. We can either do them from your elbows, which are a little bit less intense, a little bit easier to do, uh, especially if you have more back stiffness um, than usual. So you're going to keep your elbows at your sides, hands down, and I want you to push up through your elbows. And I want you to try to extend the low back as much as you can. Try to keep the hips on the mat. I don't want your hips to rise up at all. Keep your hips down and relaxed, okay? And what uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my hands to the side, which is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do. And I'm gonna press up through my hands. Again, keeping my hips relaxed and really kind of arching at the low back. And I'm gonna be finishing by looking up at the ceiling. That's gonna get a little bit of thoracic extension. Okay, so we're gonna go five repetitions. We're gonna exhale on the way up, and then we're gonna inhale on the way down. You ready? And go. Exhale. Inhale. Loud breaths. Exhale. Inhale. There's two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Press up. And inhale. Good. Okay, so the last exercise we're going to do before we get into a couple of stretches uh, is just going to be a sustained hold in the back extension. So again, you can do it one of two ways. You can put your hands at the side of your chest and press up. And we're going to do a sustained hold for five breaths. Or, I'm going to demonstrate for this one, keeping your elbows at your side, pressing up through the elbows and looking up. So remember, try to relax the hips and the low back. You want to extend the low back as much as you can. We're going to do this for five breaths. You ready? And go. Extend up, take a breath in, and out. One. Breath in. Out. Two, always keep pushing up. Breath in. Out. Relax those hips. Three. In. Out. Four. Here we go. Last breath. In. Out. Five. Good. Okay, the final two stretches that we're going to be doing it's going to be from uh, a sideline position on your hip. Okay, so we're going to get into a modified sideline position um, for our next stretch. So, to get into this position, 
Let's start over on our right hip. So your right hip's gonna be down with your right knee bent and then your left leg bent. And then I want, what I want you to do is put your right foot on top of your left thigh. This is gonna be our uh, side sitting position. From here, you're gonna place both of your hands on either side of your knee. And then I want you to try to line up the center of your chest to the center of your knee. So for me, I'm gonna have to rotate a little bit so now my knee and my chest are in line. So this is gonna be your start position. When we do the stretch, I'm gonna demonstrate really quick. Try to keep your back flat and try to touch the center of your chest to your knee and then come back up. All right, we're gonna do this one five times. And again, we're gonna incorporate our breathing with the stretch. We're gonna exhale on the way down inhale when we come back up. All right, here we go, five times. Ready, breath in first, and exhale. Good. Up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, there's two, exhale. Keep that back flat, try to touch the center of your chest to the knee. Inhale, three loud breaths, exhale, good, inhale, four, last one, exhale, and inhale, five, all right, so from here, we're going to go over to our other side, so however you need to maneuver, we're going to go over onto our other hip. So now I'm on my left hip. My left foot is gonna be on my right thigh. So with my left knee in front, I want both of my hands on either side of my knee. And then I wanna line up the center of my chest to the knee. So I'm gonna have to rotate a little bit. So now my knee and chest are in line. Same thing, five breaths, trying to touch the center of your chest to your knee. Exhale on the way down. Here we go. Breath in first, exhale, good, inhale, one, exhale, inhale, two, exhale, keeping the back flat, inhale, Three, exhale. Inhale. Four, last one, exhale. Inhale. Five, good. And then with these stretches, uh, you may feel it again on one side more than the other. Uh, for the side that you feel like you had a little bit more of a stretch on, you can go ahead and do a few more repetitions to that side. Uh, for our last stretch, we're going to do a hamstring stretch, and it's going to be in a seated position. So you can either be seated on a chair with your feet down, or you can just be seated on the mat where you are. Okay, for this last stretch, we're going to do a hamstring stretch. Um, so this stretch can be done seated uh, on the mat where you're currently at. Um, or for a stretch that's a little bit less intense but requires less mobility, you can switch to a chair if you're on a platform like I am. You can scoot off so you're seated on the platform with your feet off. And then you can extend your feet out with your heels on the floor and then do the stretch this way. Uh, but for this exercise routine, I'm going to be doing it seated on the mat. So your feet are going to be out in front of you. Toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Try to keep the back of your knees pushed down the whole time. All right, we're gonna go five repetitions. And I want you to try to reach as far as you can for your toes and then sit back up to a tall position. And we're gonna incorporate again, the breathing with the stretching. So we're gonna exhale when we stretch and reach. And then we're gonna inhale when we come back up to the tall posture position. All right, ready? Five breaths, here we go. Take a breath in first. Exhale, big reach, good, inhale, exhale, try to reach past the toes, inhale, 
Exhale, reach as far as you can. Inhale. Tall position, a couple more. Exhale. Loud breathing, big reach. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Big reach, long exhale, as far as you can. Keeping the knees down. And back up, inhale. Great. 